Hey folks, if you're looking for a nice gun to play, an affordable one, which is gonna drive you money, then you are at the right place because I'm going to recommend three specific guns in this video. But let me add a bit of a disclaimer before I talk about the guns. So my opinion about the Arena Breakout is that there is no like ultimate gun that is gonna win you the game. Same applies for armor. You can dress up in T6 and have like an MK14 or H4 or whatever, you can still die. So it's not going to be the biggest differentiating or winning factor of the game. Still, your gun matters, okay? Because if you have a very trash gun, especially if you're not using good enough ammunition, then it can easily happen that you're gonna be destroyed, you're gonna be folded on the battlefield because, yeah, gun matters to a certain degree. It needs to be optimal. If you are choosing something that is, you know, below the threshold, like if you are trying to beat the game with shotguns, yes, you can do that, but in most of the cases, you will fail. And this applies to basically every gun in the game, which is below 40,000. Those weapons, you know, they work, but you need to have either luck, better position, better timing, better aim, better ammunition or all kind of stuff. But looking at this from the other side, so if you feel that you are good enough and you keep equipping like highly modded guns, which are close to 100,000, of course you're gonna have an advantage, but it can still happen to you that you, you meet a, a guy with an MP5 um, or Vector even or whatever, and um, you know, leg meta weapon or, or basically any other weapon um, and, and, and you die. It doesn't really matter uh, if you're holding a 100,000 um, gun or a cheap gun if the enemy was just simply better than you. I recently published the BM-59 video in which, you know, it's clear evidence that, you know, if the enemy peaks, then it doesn't really matter what type of gun he has. If I'm the one firing first and if I land the headshot, then he's dead. Definitely doesn't matter. And therefore, um, this is how I want to transition on why I recommend these guns. This, what I explained, this is why I feel that the best guns in the game are the ones which uh, fall between 40,000 and 60,000. Because those are not highly modded, but in terms of efficiency, in terms of firepower, in terms of uh, like overall performance, recoil, um, they are almost as good as the high-end guns, but for the price of one high-end gun, you can actually buy two of these. This is why I recommend them. And uh, what you're gonna see in this video, or you are actually seeing it already, um, is my performance with these guns I'm gonna talk about. So the first one is not gonna be like a massive, huge, extra surprise, because we all know it's a good gun, but for some reason we tend to forget because it's so default, it's so basic that we don't often play with it because there are like other choices. I don't know why, but it feels like that. Players start forgetting that this, this default gun is one of the best guns in the game. It's the M4, the M4A1. And yeah, yeah, okay, you're gonna say instantly that, you know, A1 bullet is trash, is weak. Yeah, I mean, it's not the like the highest tier ammunition, but still it does the job. If I like, try to revive some of the games where I've been performing well with the M4, you know, I, I had decent games on Northridge, Farm, TV Station, everywhere. It's, it's not that bad. I mean, yes. Like again, the A1 ammunition is not the best, and I I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend you to play with the A1. So I I don't think it's worth playing with um uh, with T5. What is it? Um, um M995 uh, bullets. Sorry, I had to look it up because I keep mixing up. Like I keep for some reason saying M955, but it's actually M995. Anyways, I don't recommend playing that because, yeah, you would get the advantage, but for what price? Oh my God, it's like like like, like freaking expensive. And don't let you know the um, the videos mislead you. You see from high end players. So say it, trashy, monarch, uh, Yusef, Umed, and many more. 
they play the um, high-end ammunition because they are like super confident that they're gonna do the kill. And let me let me actually stop here at, uh, for a moment because there are multiple factors to consider when you think about like Sage's gameplay or Yusuf's gameplay. So it's not just you know the the ammunition and the timing and you know the fact that they are super fast and their aim is nice. It's not just that. Um, all of them or most of them are using um, their grenades very wisely and very efficiently. Which means that by the time they actually see the enemy, it may be that the enemy is already on half HP. So let me um, you know, promote my own video from back then when I was doing the training ground video. And one of the training uh, activities was practicing nades. You know, it's, it's, it's an essential part of the game. Like if you can nade your enemy two times before you do the attack, then, you know, your, your attack is going to be more efficient. That's it. And if you check yourself, he's doing it every single time. He's actually often asking his teammates if they have any spare grenades every time he's doing an attack. I think Sade is doing pretty much the same. Not all the time, but, um, you know. Anyways, I don't want to derail. Um, if you're running with the M4, then I would recommend you picking up the A1 ammunition. Although we all know, you know, I know it's not the best ammunition in the game. For the price of the M4, with that ammunition, I think you're good to go. You can go lockdown, you can do forbidden zone, you can do pretty much everything in the game. You're not going to be the underdog. You can only be the underdog because of your skills. But if you put this M4 into the hands of Said or Yusuf, then they're going to be successful with it. This is why they play all kind of guns, because they get bored after a while. I mean, if it would be like one gun winning you the game, then, you know, they, they would be sticking to that. But if you check Yusuf's gameplay, I, I keep referring to Yusuf, but it could be any of the um, um, more professional players. Like, they, they keep swapping. I just saw a video from, um, from Sade saying that the Ace 31 is his new favorite weapon. I mean, come on, the Ace 31, it has terrible recoil. Uh, and the reason he can do that is because for him, it doesn't really matter anymore. And and same for Yusef, if, if, he, if he starts dressing up for a game, he's like, you know, randomly picking any of the guns. It can be an RPK, VSS, it can be, you know, whatever. Um, and they are going to put in the, the best ammunition, of course, and they are going to put on the teal um, um, grip. That's fine because, you know, they have the money to do so. And in their case, it actually makes a difference because if they meet players uh, which have like similar experience or skill, then, you know, that, that those slight advantages can actually make a difference. But for casual players, for you and me, I, I'm not sure if you're casual. Maybe you're a professional. Maybe you would destroy me and fold me. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know. But for, let's say, majority of the players, it doesn't matter as much. Um, so basically, I'm trying to propose something which is going to work for you on the long run. Like you need to, you know, maintain your coin balance. So therefore, you cannot always run with the... Um, best guns and even e e even this price range i'm targeting and i'm offering and recommending even this price range is expensive for many i know i know because many of you are still running mosin and uh, bm59s and um, mp5 smgs and you know guns that are below 20k still i think like, if you want to step to the next level, or if you want to start farming rats on Northridge, um, not rats, you can also farm rats, but you, I was saying rats, red items, then I think this 40-50k range is the best. So, M4A1 is one of my recommendations, um, and I'm talking about the one which you can get from the bundle. So, if you have some season points, and from the battle pass or season point store, you can pick up that bundle. And then if you choose the M4, then 
The only thing I, I would change on that gun is to replace the 30 round mag with a 60 round mag and then you're off to go. So the next gun I'm gonna recommend is the Mini 14. Um, it's not a widely used gun. It's like an alternative for the M110. And we could also say it's, you know, somewhat similar to the BM-59, which I have been recommending recently. There are some slight differences though. Um, and um, I was thinking to do a separate video specifically for the Mini 14, but then I ended up you know, deciding that I'm gonna just bundle it into this one. I have a nice build, I call it the shark, because this build looks like a shark. Maybe just to, for me, but I don't know. I, I like the name, shark. Uh, it's all black, and then you have the green um, scope, the 3.5 scope on top. Um, and this gun brought me tons of success. I'm not saying that I could always extract and I farm like tons of thermals, but in the fights I've been competing, this Mini 14, you know, it, it was doing a job. I was landing the headshots, it's very accurate, the recoil is very good, and uh, the only caveat here is that you need to have one magazine um, with the M995 bullets. That's what I've been doing. So I had in most of the games one magazine, a 30 round mag with the T5 ammunition, M995. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing it so I remember. And then I had spare magazine and extra ammunition in my composite case A1s just to kill the bots, you know, and you know. And, and it was also good practice, by the way, for me to remind myself that I need to swap the magazine before I enter a fight. Or if I think that there might be somebody there, then I'm swapping to my primary or secondary mag. Um, so that's, that's, I think, one of the weapons which I could like wholeheartedly recommend because with the scope attached, the 3.5 scope, um, it's actually pretty decent in my opinion, and it's gonna cost you approximately 38 up to 45,000, which is still better than the M110, okay? Uh, because the M110, M1, yeah, the M110 nowadays costs you up to 70,000 or even more, and I think for that price, it's, it's a bit too much. Like the, 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 the price of the M110 keeps changing. I feel like that whenever we have a new skin or something and we have that in the battle pass, then people start buying it and I, I think it's getting more expensive. So uh, for 40,000 to the Mini 14, I think it's, it's a blast, it's a banger, it's, it's really good. Um, and I think most of you are not playing that gun. Give it a try. Play at least three games with the Mini 14 and you're gonna be surprised. Like with the M995, it's having devastating firepower. I mean, you can literally one-shot people. And again, the final outcome of the game is not gonna depend on, you know, on, on the gun itself. But if you have this gun, you have good chances to, to, to do the kills and then extract with tons of money. And the third gun I'm going to recommend to you is my personal favorite. So if you ask me which is the gun you like most shady, then this is going to be the gun. It's the AK-74N, like slightly modded version of it. Um, it's, my, it's my favorite. It's my favorite because it has like really strong firepower. I don't feel that it's worse than any of the you know, similar weapons. And I had tons of successful raids with the AK-74N. I also know that this is the gun, which most of the high-end streamers don't play. Maybe this is why I like the gun. To explain this a bit further, when I you know, watch any kind of event or any kind of you know, sports activity, then I'm usually trying to cheer for the, for the weaker team. For some reason, I just don't feel that if I'm having the best gun in the game, the H4 with the highest ammunition or MK14 and I'm dressing up into T6 and I'm killing Timmy's and players who are running T4 or cheaper loadouts with, with like T4 ammunition, it's, it's not satisfying for me. I don't feel that, you know, that 
that that's the right thing. I want to be on the other side of the coin. I want to be the guy having the semi-decent gun with semi-decent ammunition and then trying to hunt those guys with the thermals, with the foes, with the MK14s. And actually, I, I think that I'm successful in doing that. Even though I don't have godlike aim, I'm not that skilled, I'm running solo, I'm not having the T5 and T6 loadout, and I'm not buying, I'm not using the like high-end weapons, and still, you know, I could reach legend, my inventory keeps growing, and if I would start to grind, I, I don't know where, you know, where I would stop. If I would play six up to eight hours a day running to Northridge Hotel, clearing the saves, I think I would be already at 100 million because, because I'm not surviving every single raid, but I have tons of raids where I extracted 300,000 or 600,000 or 800,000 or whatever. And uh, my inventory just keeps going without being, you know, one of those pushy demons. I, I think I'm never going to be that good, but, you know, circling back to the gun, the AK-74N, my personal favorite, um, really fits to my playstyle because it's not super expensive, but still the BP ammunition and also the faction ammo, the BT, it hits hard. And, um, you know, if I die, then it's not because it's not because of the weapon. So I can highly recommend you to play AK-74N. If the stars are aligned, I'm going to get the Midas skin. I still have a couple of spins to do and I ran out of bonds. But once I get some, I'm going to have the golden version of the AK-74N. And if that happens, maybe, you know, you're going to see me playing more with the AK-74N because I'm playing all kinds of guns. It's not that, you know, I'm sticking to one single thing or strategy and then I keep doing that over and over again, like many of the creators and many of the streamers do. I, I think I don't do it because I don't actually care that much about my, my, my storage value. But I understand that most of you are going to grind and do money and therefore you're going to have like a set of weapons to play with and you're going to master them or you want to master them. That's perfectly fine. I think you should be trying the AK-74N because it's not expensive and it's going to do the killing part. OK, so that's it for the like top three or top three affordable guns recommendation. Let me know what you think about my recommendations. Let me know what your, you know, favorite guns are in the comment section. And then, you know, maybe I'm going to see something I haven't tried before. And I'm going to try that. I'm going to reflect on that. I'm going to give you feedback again. But first and foremost, enjoy the game, guys. Don't have gear fear, um, you know, and have fun. As always, shoot, loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Ciao, bye, peace.